welcome to my channel build future lab and uh, today we have creating for an interesting topic that uh, is this is my interview question session part 4 i realized that people lot of support receive and we received suggestion that please create the video on rollable security so we created that so the question which i received from the uh, community that what is rls when we will uh, we use the we will be using the rls what is the relevance of it and uh, what are the basic requirement wh where should we apply the rls and rls limitation advantage what is the objectable security and can we apply the rls and the tab label too so this kind of question i'm going to answer today so let's start with the first one so what is the rls is rollable security uh, like uh, suppose we have a large amount of data and with the different different categories so different the p like let's example per person working as a project manager and the manufacturing company has multiple products project manager is working on two projects only so other five products doesn't matter for them so why should i show the other three product data to him to control this we need to apply the row level security so you can say to control the data if you wanted to control data or categorize your data and wanted to control the view after unnecessary so in that scenario you can use the when you can create your controlling on your data and totally uh, as per the business need to then apply the rollable security and the best part is that one report can be different different way to the each user and that is going to help the business so at lower cost you can easily you can means one report can produce mul help multiple way and uh, individual as well the group so as everyone can use it rollable security the talk about the next question that we have uh, when we will use the rls definitely let's give one example when we will talk to someone so you must speak clearly give exact answer what exactly person asking for like uh, uh, employer ask means interviewer ask what is the rollable security so you say that rollable security allow user to control your data as per their business need in single line so this way you can uh, you can say this a less word and great statement can meet so means i'm not maybe your word is different but yeah this way you can try to answer them next question for you that uh, when we will use the rls so you just give the example that where we wanted to control the data as i told you but give the example as well so i give the example like we have a sales data and we have sales data with different different categories so one is individual individual uh, employee performance wanted to evaluate it then team leader then manager then sales manager so the, everyone wanted to see their data and their way like that's a team leader and individual definitely know that they want to see their data only in duration wise team leader want to see the group data and whole team how many team is managing you wanted to see their respective team data so because team data is data that reason so you want to see the team if you reach out with the manager manager want to see the all team sales data sales manager looking for the percentage only because how much sales you made and what is the uh, what we have achieved today so the different wanted to see that yesterday what percentage we achieved today this tomorrow this day after tomorrow this so percentage want to see that also see the amount as well that how much sale have we made so this way you can try the things so place the example good way so that user uh, means uh, interviewer can be satisfied your answer and usually what happen people say that uh, i uh, created the report rollable security i use this they don't say that just say rollable security allow uh, developer to control the data as per their business needs in single line and that very helpful for this i took many interviews people are giving different different kind of words i'll have example as well like recently i took an interview so uh, she told us that rollable security helped the business uh, in um you can say in their needs so obviously total report is uh, business need but business have a separate category that category going to implement that and like user group maybe maybe data category right location 
some we have some report we created multiple one report can help multiple locations and like suppose one uh, company have head office in india and uh, it has a different one batch in, in another country so indian people can see all data and another country see can see their respective data so this way can fix it by people location so it totally depend on the requirement talk about the when we will use the rls so i already clear that that you uh whenever you control data then you can do that and talk about the requirement part so requirement part we need for well license as well we need the data in categories and type of filter requirement type of categories required along with the logic and we need to publish report in power services and assign the each users maybe there are two three way to do that first one is that maybe directly pick up the whenever logging the people then quickly push the user principal in automatically it filter it maybe if you created a just category is not available in the data so you created manually group so in user portfolio so in that screen you use to manually add the user information so i'll show you how should i add that where you can see that i'll show you so this way we can do that next part uh, next question that where should i apply that i will answer it rls limitation yeah rls means sometime uh, very hard to find out how to fix the rollable security like suppose uh that uh, the data which they provided we don't have any kind of category and they saying that uh, you control the data by number by amount so in that scenario is not a relevance because uh if you do not have any such kind of logical group so in that it may be very difficult to create the data like suppose uh, i recently received that customer said that please create the data by customers by customers only uh customer can see their data so i create the customer but the problem is that when we creating a customer so in that scenario multiple customer companies multiple customers so each customer can see their data but they want to see individual customer can see their data so i successfully informed to the um, informed to the um, team that this data can see all customer data we need to provide the category for it so they added the category in the database after that we'll do that we did the report so sometime we got a problem but yeah definitely you reach out to the stakeholder definitely they help you out on this help out on this part next part is that what is the object level security like we have a data set in the power bi so you wanted to create the object level security then you can same you can do that by passing the conditions next uh, object level security suppose i wanted to control the tab level security so we have uh, option in power bi that you can use the tab level security and that going to help us and we directly do not have option but yeah by using the dax function and creating a table you can do that talk about the uh, talk about the uh, table we yeah, are definitely you can apply that let's move to the demo part or let's demo so to demo prospect i have go to the modeling whatever your data set we have like see this we have data model here let me show you we have data model here three so you can easily create that so just go to the modeling so modeling and manage role so first you can create the role give the name whatever you test data and after that go to the model the model which wanted to give and like suppose i wanted to give the uh, month number so month of pass one or maybe you can add the dax as well here here dax cap capability capability is also there you can do that by trick one trick means your code is correct then press okay but i am going to give here two because one is example only there so just close save it and now how should i control data let's save it okay Okay, let's save it. Yeah, so this let's move it to the two. 
okay then save and view as neurons first one is two five and it's and see done we'll filter the order data by month by month month number so i create a month number so generally for this is for this filter data automatically let's stop the presenting and publish in the services so i already publish it to save the time i don't want to uh, lose your much time so go to here youtube so so just go to app.porvi.com So here I just published the low level security. I go to my personal workspace. now see this uh, this is my report so let's find out so go to the three dot here and thereafter go to the security and say this here you can put the email id whatever email id you have and you can do that so you can just add that after that user can be there and if you want to test your data so go to the test as a role and say this so this then we create filter the base so that is going to help you by this you can create the report simply and do that let's move to the slide okay so uh hope uh, the information which i given to you it, uh, will help you while uh, giving the interview so three important thing must remember whatever questions asked by the interviewer so you must apply uh, it and uh you can say give the answer in a phrase and uh not broader means uh, you can say like a story just give the single single line in in a professional manner so that you can uh, get selected to hope this video is helpful and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for your watching my video see you in next video